Hello all of my beautiful liars over there on the other side of the screen. Today I'm going to be talking to you about lying. And do you know something about lying? Lying is much more complex of a topic than you can ever imagine. And if you think right now that that guy that tells you that kind of a thing has to be a huge liar and I'm going to click off this video or not click this video at all, I'm going to say stop wait a minute because i'm true to detective i can tell you all about how lying works and i'm going to tell you how deep of a topic lying is and this is going to give you an edge and this is not a lie this will really 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 give you an edge in your life just listen lying is a deep topic and lying is a complex topic we have to start with the type of lies there are. For example, if I am in a relationship with a wife and I sleep around with other women and I lie to my fiance that this is not happening, she might at some point kind of grasp on and kind of realize that this is happening, even though he's lying. And he, she might, you know, hire a detective with a camera to like stalk the man until he she kind of you know gets the truth because he won't tell him or he won't tell her the truth that's one level of the situation but i'm going to like make this so much deeper for your understanding you have to understand that the man is actually trying to achieve something with this kind of behavior and he's trying to achieve something with the lying also. What he's trying to achieve probably is more pleasure and he can't control himself. It's understandable. If you are a man, you will know that fucking around is great. I don't know anything about that. That's the truth. When I tell the truth, I always go like this. That's a lie. So. If the man is sleeping around with other women, he's also trying to protect the marriage or the relationship by the relationship by lying that this is not happening, you know. He's trying to protect the marriage while still trying to get, you know, off by doing the behavior, you know. He's trying to win and not lose the relationship. And women are very good in this. They, you know, I have noticed that, that, for example, in my situation, I feel that very, 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 very many women, you know, don't, for starters, want to hear the truth of who you are. They don't want you, you know, as you are. They want, you know, they want you to sugarcoat your life. Because if your life is not, you know, like you're not this type of a person that they seek, you know, they don't want to deal with you. So you lie to them. And they, they, then they say that the problem with you is that you lie. It's not that you lie, it's that they want you to be more than you who you are, so you lie, so they reject you. So if you are a woman, you know, realize what do you want? Do you want a person that tells you the truth that you can trust? Or do you want something that is trustworthy and because of that makes a lot of money, you know? Or kind of, you know, is a good provider. <laughs> Understand what you want, you know? It's not even related to fucking lying. So, then you have to ask a question. Does the lie in that situation matter at all? Yeah, it matters. It might lead you to get a fucking syphilis, you know, or a, like some kind of other disease, you know, sexual transmitted disease, STDs, that's serious, you know, even life threatening. So it's understandable in this situation that women are very pissed off and men are very pissed off if they're like, pa uh, like partners, you know, sleep around with each other. Oh, of course, it's also emotionally kind of, you know, like, you know, pretty a backstab to do that. But then we go into like a deeper level of lying. Like 
in some situation if I tell you a tall story and a freaking you know telltale that in this part of your town there happens all kinds you know violent behavior drug dealing and that kind of stuff don't go there you know just don't go there and that is not really happening there you go there and you'll be like there's nothing going on over here why why do you make me afraid of this you know why did you want to make me afraid of this even though there's nothing you know to be afraid over here then I'm going to say I'm going to say that in that situation the lie might kind of affect you but it's not the liar that makes you afraid it's who it's you who believes the lie to be true that makes you afraid you know this person might even use brainwashing tactics to make you believe that lie hypnosis and that kind of stuff to make you believe that lie even more deeper that this is dangerous that danger lies here even though there might not be any danger there that's a lie that kind of affects you and kind of is serious but not really and then there's a lie that doesn't matter at all you know and if you think about like which of these lies is very you know like serious the lie that is very serious is the lie that affects the other person person very deeply for example in the case of the marriage that's a lie that matters but a lie that I tell you that yeah you know like in my school there are these people and these people do this kind of behavior and it's very it's very bad you know they are almost murderers you know that's a story you know and it it won't affect me shit you know and it's just it's just that that, that some lies don't matter if you tell them like it doesn't matter shit if you lie and when you say in religious terms that lying is just you know evil don't lie you have to make a separation like which kind of a lie is evil you know like you have to understand that not all lies are the same of course not they create different kind of you know uh, like outcomes for example the media when it lies you hear, hear that a lot the media lies the christian will go that the when the media lies it's it's the more it, it's as evil as your like fiance telling you that she's not sleeping around with other men you know that that that's as serious as the media lying but usually the media lying doesn't have any fucking shit matter like effect on your life even the, if they lie, even if they tell the truth, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't change anything. So then we go into some like situation, for example, like interrogation or, or some situation where you, for example, ask somebody very straight question. Do you use drugs? And the person lies to you that no, I'm not using drugs. Does this, does this lie matter? Well, if you try to be friends with this person and you like realize later on that actually the person uses drugs and he lied to you about that, will you think that this is as bad as every other lie? Or was it that this person tried to protect himself from the law? He wa didn't want to get caught, you know. I'm going to say to you that you have to understand people's like motivation to lie. Some people lie just for the hell of it. You know, I just, I sometimes lie for the hell of it. But usually you can always tell that I'm telling you a story that is not true. That there's a deeper kind of, you know, what I'm trying to achieve with this. And I usually achieve what I want with lying, you know. And then there are other times that I don't. You do this too. I assure you that you're a liar. You're a liar. If you watch this video, you're a fucking liar. Like it, like eh, almost everybody is a fucking liar. It's very hard, actually, to be truthful and to find the truth. You know, when you talk about trustworthiness, for you, trust being trustworthy is showing on time and doing what you are told. That's not being trustworthy. You know, that's being a conformist. You know. You are a freaking liar, you know, it's, I'm a freaking liar. If I say to, if I say to you that you're a freaking liar, that might be a freaking lie, you know. 
If you said me that I'm a freaking liar, that might be a fucking lie, you know? But does it matter at all? Well, if you go around and tell everybody that Truth Detective is a liar, and that leads to people not trusting me, are you making those people not trust me? No. 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 You are actually not responsible for those people not trusting me. I'm responsible in that situation of converting that, ma that man or a woman to understand through their own senses that I'm a trustworthy person. It's on me, you know. You can't gossip about me and make other people like not be trusting me. You have to understand that I have the power, not you. Is that a lie? Do you have any power? If you start going around and telling tall, tall stories about Truth Detective being a really a drug dealer, even though Truth Detective has never dealt drugs, is that a lie? Can you trust me? You know, you have to understand that I might be anybody. I might be anybody. Like, if I, for example, start to become all British or American, you know, I even change how I dress, I change how I, you know, speak. Am I, a li am I a liar for that? Of course not. I'm just expanding like my definition of myself and I'm expanding who I am. If your def definition of who you are is that you are a Finnish man and that's who you are, then think about the limitation you place on yourself. You can't be anything but that. That's a huge limitation. Don't place that kind of limitation on yourself. So. If somebody lies to you, is he at the same time trying to limit your behavior in some way, like restrict your freedom? For example, when a police officer like interrogates somebody, uh, that like, did you do this crime? Uh, like, does that lie matter when the guy says that no, I didn't deal those drugs? Does it matter? Does it matter shit? Well, you can say that it kind of matters if the if it's really important to like punish this punish drug dealers, you know, it's, it's, it matters a lot in terms of the law, you know. Or if somebody got really hurt and there's a liar uh, and the person is kind of like a murderer, does it, change the, does it change the situation if the person lies and says to the interrogator or the detective, for example, no, no, I didn't commit that murder, which he probably will say if he did or might not, might just say plain old straight, yeah, that was me. Will it change anything? It might if the guy, for example, gets off and commits another murder. Then the detective or the police officer getting to the truth is crucial for somebody else's life. That's a very, 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 you know, important lie to catch. But if the same person tells a lie that I murdered somebody and he didn't, that's a lie that almost doesn't matter. Can you understand that it's your action that is very important? But at the same time, it might not be important at all how you act. So if you say that lies related to actions are important, but lies that are related to just, you know, tales and stories and, you know, thoughts and beliefs are not important, then you are missing the point. It's not like this. As I said, lying is the most complex thing and the most complex subject in the whole human life. Lying is the most important subject in the whole human life. And that might be a lie. Do you believe that? Do you know something about hypnosis? This is a lie. This is the truth, actually. That in hypnotic trance, you can't discern so well if the person is lying. If I talk to you very, very, very slow, your mind can listen to my voice and spot more easily that now this man is lying. But if I talk to you very fast, will I be able to lie to you better? Who knows? This video is not to help you catch liars. I'm not trying to make you a lie detector. That's not your job, probably. Your job is probably to tell many lies. <sighs> this might be a lie. Who knows? You might be the biggest liar. You might be just a small guy telling 
few lies here and there. You might never lie at all. Who knows? But when you try to force not lying on other people, when you try to like say that lying is actually okay, then you are missing the point of this whole fucking video. So if you write a comment there, be very, very, very conscious of what you are going to write in that comment. This is going to be the most important comment in your life. That might be a lie, by the way. I'm pretty good at this, but that might be a lie also. <laughs>